first thing you notice is that marks disappeared off the lens, which are, uh, I don't know, weird. Um, I got my new test rig set up, because there's only one of me now, and if you did munched up my monitor before. So it's this plastic pipe going along to feed the USB cable down to the half-suspended Arduino, which um, controls it. Uh, so one of the propellers, this one here, was on backwards. So now it should be much better and actually able to provide lift. So it should keep it stable uh, because before it was not stable. Uh, the program is working, I believe. So let's begin. Though I did notice the motor calibration was not working correctly, which I'm not sure if I fucked up or someone else fucked up. Rather, I'm not sure how I fucked up since presumably no one else could have fucked it up. Anyway, let's try that. Also, uh, it's it's quite tough to hold it when it's on the ground because I can't. I get nervous putting my hands up against the propellers. Uh, so I'll try and avoid doing that because I want to avoid death. Surprisingly, uh, I've also moved my computer along so that I can put my gear down here. It's Calibrating. Yeah, so this is the wrong kind of beep if I'm trying to do a calibration, but uh, oh well, it should work for our purposes. Actually, I will just move this slightly in that direction because that's where the cord is. when uh, the Arduino comes out from it. Uh, Hopefully that looks badass on the camera. <laughs> Let's have a look. I think well, the propellers are okay still. Let's feel. No, they're, they're pretty okay. I would call that a success. Oh, wait, no, I munched up some of my hair off the ground, but still. No, it looks pretty good. I, I call that just a success. Really, to see, to see what really happens when the USB cable flies out. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Uh, hopefully, the next disc goes better anyway. <laughs> 